In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to insert page breaks in web pages via CSS. First of all, let's write the content which is to be displayed on the first page. After that, we will open up the heading tag and use the break class over here. After that, we will write the title of the heading which will be displayed on the second page. With that done, let's close the heading tag and type in the content for the next page after that. With that done, we will open up the heading tag and in a similar way as before, we will add a page break over here. With that done, let's define what the break class would actually do. For that, we will move up and before the body tag, let's insert a style tag. Over here, we will specify the class properties. Over here, we will be inserting a page break before the element on the document, which will be defined with the break class. The concept behind the break before attribute is that it will first take the control to the new page and then display the content. Now let's save the HTML document and open up the file in the browser. With the page opened up, let's open its print preview, and over here, you can see that wherever we have used the break class in the document, the content appears in a new page accordingly. And that's it.